Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I have another Claim My Unhauled Books video for you. I'm getting rid of some books, but before I take them to be donated or to sell them at the used bookstore, I'm giving anyone out there the opportunity to claim one of them. I will send it to you and it will be lovely. All of the details about this are in the description box of this video, but just to give you the abridged version, <laughs> I can send books to anybody in North America, United States, Canada, Mexico. I can send one book per person to claim a book, you must comment down below with the title that you wish to receive. I will try to stay or keep the description of this video updated about which books are still available and which have already been claimed. I can't guarantee because everything is first come first serve. Once you've commented that you want a book, I will be contacting you for your mailing information, which you need to give to me so that I can actually get you the book. I'm confident this will all work itself out. Uh, but first we have Dating You, Hating You by Christina Lauren. And if you are no stranger to the claim my unhaul, then you realize that I've already unhauled this book before, which is true. I unhauled it and I sent it. But I recently went to a library book sale and they had a very pristine copy of this book for 50 cents. And I bought it specifically to pass it on. Wasn't the biggest fan of this book, but it wasn't terrible. It's the story of two Hollywood agents and they work for competing agencies, but those agencies actually merge and then they find themselves in competition for a job. It's an enemies to lovers or a hate to love romance. Pretty, it's pretty well liked by everybody who's not me. So, I mean, if you're a contemporary romance fan or a Christina Lauren fan who has not read this book, you probably won't be going wrong by asking me to send it to you. Next is another very popular romance. This is The Bride Test by Helen Huang. This is a book of the month copy, which means that it is hardcover. However, book of the month books are manufactured specifically for that book club. So it's probably not as substantial of a hardcover. It's not, it's not quite the quality of a hardcover that you would buy in the store, but it's still a nice book. The pages are just a little thinner and it's a little more lightweight. It was an okay read. Again, not terrible, but... Not something that I'll probably read again. And it's so hyped and such, you know, has so many fans that I want to pass this one along to someone who hasn't had the opportunity to pick it up. So let me know in the comment section if you want the bride test. It's briefly the story of Kai, who is on the autism spectrum. His mother goes to Vietnam and brings back a woman to be Kai's wife. Only Kai is not on board with that plan. And so Esme and Kai agree to just live together to appease the mother. And if nothing builds between them, she'll go off and disappear. No harm, no foul. But their relationship sort of progresses from there. Let's get all the romance out of the way. This is Waiting for Tom Hanks by Carrie Winfrey. I read and reviewed this book uh, here on BookTube. My husband yelled at me uh, about my review of this book. He said that he listened to me gripe and complain about this book the entire time I was reading it. And then he watched my video and I was too nice. <laughs> so this is the story about a girl who's obsessed with romantic comedies and she's determined that her life will play out like one. She is waiting for her Tom Hanks and a movie comes to town. She's able to secure a working position on that film or on the set of the film and the lead actor and her have a bit of a meet cute but she denies that this lead actor could ever possibly be her Tom Hanks because he's horrible. The book was a bit repetitive. The heroine was a bit annoying. Uh, it just didn't it just wasn't what I hoped it would be because let's face it this is a five-star title right here waiting for Tom Hanks like Unfortunately, what's behind that title didn't quite satisfy me. However, 
this might still sound like something that you want to read. If so, comment down below with the title. Next, I have The Last Letter. This is by Rebecca Yaros. And I went back and forth with myself over whether or not I wanted to unhaul this book because everybody loves it and I didn't. And I've often wondered if I give it some time and maybe reread it, if I'll feel differently. But here's the thing. This is a tear jerking, emotionally exhausting uh, book, which isn't the part that I disliked. I disliked that it's supposed to be a military romance or a contemporary romance. And instead, to me, the romance was not the most affecting parts of this book. It has all these different subplots and the subplots, especially one in particular, end up being what really hits home about this story. So I argue with myself over whether or not this is a romance. I mentioned that in my review of this book, but I think I'm going to go ahead and unhaul it. Long story short. So this is about a woman whose brother is killed in action and that brother has sent someone in his unit back to her to take care of her. She's going through a lot of difficult times and this man arrives to sort of help bear the burden of everything happening to her. Again, if you don't mind crying your eyes out and being a sobbing wet mess on the floor in the fetal position, this could be the book for you. Taking a hard left turn out of romance, we have the horror novel Apart in the Dark. It's not a, not, it's not a horror novel. We have a horror book. Two horror novellas are included in Apart in the Dark by Anya Alborn. The first is called The Pretty Ones, and the second is called I Call Upon Thee. Anya Alborn wrote my favorite horror novel of all time, Brother. Unfortunately, I haven't been able to read much more Anya Alborn since then. This is a book that I happen to have two copies of. I screwed up. I bought two. And so this one is available for you if you're interested. Uh, the Pretty Ones is about a woman who lives during the summer of Sam. The second one is about a girl who attracts an entity from a cemetery that begins stalking her for a really long time. So uh, I haven't read it. I can't give you a uh, yay, this is a great book or no, it's not. It has a lot of promise to me personally because Anya Alborn blew me away with Brother. So if you're interested in reading A Part in the Dark, let me know. This one is going to be pretty hard to giveaway, I think. It is Over Your Dead Body by Dan Wells. Again, this is a book that I have two copies of. The problem is this is book five in a series, the John Cleaver series of books. Dan, Dan Wells wrote, I Am Not a Serial Killer, and it featured the character John Cleaver, and then Dan Wells continued John's story. And here we are with book number five. I don't know how successful this will be as a standalone because I've only read I Am Not a Serial Killer, even though I've collected the rest of the series. You guys know me. You know my problems. You could claim it and try it as a standalone, or if you're familiar with the series, maybe you're working your way up to book five, you can get a jump on things and claim this one and have it when you get there. I don't know. I don't really know the perfect set of circumstances for which someone would want this book, but I have two copies and I have to give one away. So let me know if Over Your Dead Body is something that you're interested in. Um, I can promise you that John Cleaver is a great Holden Caulfield-like character and I really liked I Am Not a Serial Killer. So do with that what you will. <laughs> Next, I have a copy of The Chalk Man because I have two copies of The Chalk Man. Both are book of the month copies. And what happened was I thought that I lost my original book of the month copy of The Chalk Man. We moved a year ago and I never saw it again. I wanted to have a copy. I bought another copy and then my husband walked in one day with The Chalk Man and said, uh, I found a whole box of books in the garage. So... 
I have an extra copy of the Chalkman. Again, book of the month copy. If you're not familiar, it's about a friend group. It has a very, I remember it having a very stand by me sort of vibe. It's about a friend group. They find a dead body, the dead body of a teenage girl in the woods. And the mystery is what happened to her and who killed her. And that mystery follows this friend group through 20 years. So it's told in a dual timeline. And I just remember parts of this book being really shocking. And a couple of things in this book have really stuck with me, even though I read it over a year ago. So if you're into mystery thrillers, I would suggest The Chalk Man. People either loved this book or they hated it. I loved it. So... There you have it. Finally, I am unhauling Don't Let Me Die by Alex Sinclair and the last thing I saw by Alex Sinclair. If you've been watching, then you know that this is virtually the same storyline. Uh, Don't Let Me Die was independently published by the author and then the last thing I saw was traditionally published by Book Couture. This was the first one. This was the second one. There were definitely, I read this one <laughs> and then skimmed this one. And there were definitely a lot of editorial changes made to this book. However, it's still the same storyline. So the books follow a woman who is the resident of a psychiatric facility. And she's struggling with remembering how or why she ended up there. She knows something terrible has happened, but uh, she has to work with therapists and stuff to uncover the horrifying events that led her to the psych ward. Basically, it's told in dual timelines, which I hate. Both of these are available one per person. They're not coming as a set. I didn't like it, but that doesn't mean you won't. I don't know. Uh, if you are going to look into either of these books, I highly, highly recommend reading the synopsis of this one and then reading this one if you must. But if you read the synopsis of this one, you're probably going to be a little bit too spoiled to enjoy either if that makes sense. So let me know if you want one or the other of these, but make sure that you are choosing, you're consciously choosing between the self-published version and the traditionally published version. So don't let me die or the last thing I saw. I, I don't know if I said finally before the last books, but I've changed my mind. I'm going to tack on to additional books to this unhaul. The first is The Marriage Pact by Michelle Richmond. I am reading this book right now and I'm liking it. I'm liking it quite a bit, to be honest with you. This was the pick my book month or this was the pick my book book pick for July. So I'm in the process of reading it. I'm, I'm only like, I don't know, I have a hundred or so more pages to go and I'm liking it, but yeah, I'm just liking it. You know, it's the story of Alice and Jake. Um, they're a married couple and they're presented with an opportunity to join the pact, which is a secret society type group that exists to ensure the sanctity and survivability of marriage. So if you're interested in The Marriage Pact by Michelle Richmond, let me know. This is the first time I've ever done this. I specifically bought a second copy of The Marsh King's Daughter in order to give it away. And I mean, this is a brand new copy. And I loved this book about as much as I loved The Chalk Man. Plus, I had an amazing um, exchange and an amazing experience with Karen Dion herself. She was very gracious for the attention that I tried to bestow upon her book via this channel. And she shared some personal experiences with me. She's from Michigan. I'm from Michigan. The story is about a girl who grew up in the Upper Peninsula of Michigan not realizing that she was, that her and her mother were being held captive by her father. So the story is a dual timeline, but 
it's about her as a young girl and then her as an adult with her own young child and her father gets out of prison and it's just so well done. Obviously I enjoyed it because of the Michigan angle. The author herself lived off the grid in the upper peninsula of Michigan for a significant amount of time. So I don't know. This is just a special experience book for me. And I bought it with the intention of giving it away to you guys. But I wanted to just talk about it again because to this day, I've never seen anyone else talk about it on booktube. And I think that that's a shame because I think that it's a great thriller. I think that it's it has survivalist aspects to it. It, it puts the reader in a position of determining whether or not the father is redeemable. I mean, it really puts the reader in this weird position, which I love for a book to do. And so I just wanted to draw attention again to The Marsh King's Daughter. I'm going to give it away to anyone who would be interested in the story, but it is special to me. So, um, yeah, <laughs> it's such a good book. It really is. So if you want to read The Marsh King's Daughter, let me know. Uh, Karen Slaughter blurbed it by saying this gorgeously written eerie suspense novel gave me chills. I loved it. I promise you this is a great book and I wish more people like this is the book that I wish more people would read if anybody asked. Nobody asked but that's what I'm telling you. So those are the books available for you to claim in this claim my unhaul go round. Let me know down in the comment section which one of these books you'd most like to receive in bookish mail from me, and I will give it to you. That's it. There's really no catch. All of the details, again, will be listed down in the description box. Make sure you read everything thoroughly. I hope that's a good selection for you. I hope you're all interested. Thank you. Oh, and by the way... <clears throat> If you're interested on in getting early access to any Claim My Unhauled books that I put up on this channel, uh, head on over to my Patreon. I plan on releasing the titles of my Unhauled books to my patrons a couple of days early and giving my patrons a chance to select a book that they would like to receive prior to posting the video publicly on YouTube. So keep that in mind if you're interested awesome. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you all very soon.